Hey guys, and welcome back to Harlow with me, NG Paradox, where um, we're still defending ourselves against the Blood Feud Wars, you know, that they're a bit upset about my raiding. And of course, you know, well, the Tullys, they have a few reasons to be upset with us, you know, my, my couple of concubines are, you know, members of the Tully family. Ah, uh, my lovely concubines, all the same family. Ah, <laughs> uh, what a mess we've caused in the arbor, but... That's just how great a man Torwald is. He is a man that laughs in the face of danger. He doesn't care for kings and princes and princesses. Doesn't matter who you are, you pay the iron price. And uh, really, it's their own fault, you know. They did, you know, come and attack us. So, to be honest, they asked for it, in a way. Um, right now that we have to feed all the armies that have come to us, I could go to Riverrun or maybe Crackhall and try and take them down a bit, but it feels like it'd just be more of a pain to go take them down than it needs to be. The fat, but he's strong. Um, my kinsman, Ty Mohalo, has become a poor fighter. That's not too bad for him. Uh, when it comes to me, obviously, he still would like some more kids, but the fact that I have four wives, oh, three concubines and one wife, you think I'd be having more kids, you know? Come on. Maybe I should do some uh, romancing. You know, maybe we should be a romancing, yeah? Let's do it. Let's try and do some romancing, yeah? Okay, romancing and dancing. We're da -da 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 -da. I mean, he's not really a lustful man, but he's doing this to try and make babies of these guys because he's an ambitious man. You know, he's cruel as well. That's why he's doing it. He's going to trick him into sleeping with him, make them think that he loves them and they've loved him, and then he'll be like, Aha! I never loved you. That's the type of man he is. Not, not a good man, I must say. But then again, war. He is a man of war. Then again, his martial is pretty good. I think, yeah. I think he'll be fine if he doesn't have that much martial, to be honest. I think he can uh, hold out for that. They will give us a white piece, which will give me the prestige anyway. And I feel like it would be nice to, you know, just get rid of that. Okay, we'll get rid of that one. That means Mr. Crackhall was the last one. We could still get some money from the person who helped him. If they ever get the money they need... I mean, Melora, Miss, Miss, Miss Rain, you're, you're not the youngest. I mean, we could take her as a salt wife. We could. We could just execute her as, like, you know, an example. But then again, I'd like to execute her at the end of the war, really, not during it. Because, yeah, 20%, they'd probably give us white piece. Uh, my rival, Ali Harlow, expressed a desire to get married and asked for permission. My cousin. You know what? Marry as you please. There you go, your 20 year old lady, you, know, you, you can do what you want. I'm sure you have the gumption to be able to do that. They would give us a white piece as well. You know what, I might just do it, just it's only 50 more prestige we get. We can get it pretty easily from Raiden. He would be in prison though, but might as well just do it off a white piece. Uh, we don't own any of the lands we need to get back or anything, so it's fine by me. We want to get on with our own stuff. There we go, a bit of gold there. Um, spent quite a bit of gold, though, so that's some reason why I wanted to end the war as well. Now, I could delete our men. Let's just make sure that it'd be fine. Yeah, we could delete them. So if we delete our men, we also have the 2,000 men that we currently have. Now, if we went to war with someone, we would still keep these men up, which would be quite nice. I um, mean, we could claim Pike for them, an invasion of Pike. We can do the invasion of Pike. I can invade Pike. So we could have these 2,000 men that we don't have to raise up at all. But he has 9,000 men and 130 gold. That's not too bad. I may have, you know, a boat and uh, a sword and stuff, but it doesn't mean that I'm unstoppable, you know? It doesn't mean I'm unstoppable. Um, he also has stuff. He, you know, he has a sword. He has a boat, the Drowned God, you know? We both got stuff. It's not like I can challenge him on that. So with my men, about 2,000, 4,000, about 4,000 men overall... Give him three, three, give him three thousand more. That'll be about seven thousand men, and then yeah, he has nine thousand. We can't really beat him. Mister Drum is pretty strong. The previous ones were worse. We could wait for him to die though. He is fifty-five. He could die pretty soon, and a young boy would take over, which could be an opportunity. Interestingly, Newt Drum is actually with the tur the Trident Lands right now. His father was Crom Drum. Ooh, the Crom. Or we could invade somewhere else, you know? The, 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 the Trident. Imagine invading the Trident. God. 
Weird enough, man. Will be kind of fun. The arbor? 4,000 men. We could invade the arbor. That could be interesting. It would actually be very feasible to do that as well. And we could use my salt wise as a claim, but I would like to unite the Ironborn. Or we could go for Castle Rock. But I bet if we went for Castle Rock, the Tullys would come after us. Um, Dawn. Dawn has a lot of land everywhere, so I feel like it would be a bit dangerous um, for them. Vaith would be kind of cool just to get this like little post down here. Get the Arbor, get the Vaith. Have a couple little posts here and there. The Obviously the Dragons, 12,000 men. The North, 11,000. Yeah, I feel... I'm, I'm going to wait. I think we can get more gold. We could do more raiding and stuff. Um, we can get more gold just from time. Um, I don't know how much gold we'll make. We're not actually making any gold because we need to get rid of these as well. Get rid of these guys. Drown God Zealots. And I think we're going to wait and see. The Arbor, again, I don't like being that close to the Tully. That's my main worry right now is the Trident. I just don't want us to be really close to the, the Trident right now until we can take them on. So I think we need to at least unite the Ironborn. That would be my main goal. And from there, we could, you know, look to maybe outside. If we unite the Ironborn, we can then look to maybe the North. Or maybe the Mandeville. Or maybe the Arbor. I would do it then. That wouldn't be such a big deal, I think, then. Improve my reputation. Okay. Uh, Maester Mathers has published his work on herbalism and signatures. His ideas about how herbs can be used to treat different ailments based on their resemblance to the parts of the body have been received with much acclaim by scholars. Okay. Great. Um, yeah, fine. He's a renowned physician. Okay, fine. I guess that makes sense? I don't think that makes sense. And what is that? The little boy did take over, and he's a faith of the Seven Worshipper? Okay, now, this definitely means Torwald is going to be upset. Torwald, as a zealous man of the Ironborn, a man who's gone reaving and challenged people to jewels in the Ironborn, where he paid the Iron Price, he cannot accept a man, a boy as well, not even a man, a boy of the Faith of the Seven. He may be a drum, but he can't accept him being a, call himself a king of Pike, let alone being the only king of the Ironborn. That is just disgusting. We cannot accept such a thing. Now, the problem for us, obviously, is still he has a lot of men, but maybe over a little bit of time, he's only 10 years old, give it a little bit of time. It could go down, hopefully. Um, if we look at the claims we got there, High Lordship of Pike. Um, I really wish we could get Pike itself. 6,000 men. This actually might be a better idea to go after. I could claim Pike myself. And they have currently 6,000 men. Now, 6,000 men obviously is quite a bit of men. Um, they've got minus gold, though. So I could definitely hire some mercenaries. We could use those mercies then in the war against the drums as well. But who do I want first? I want to get the drums or the pikes first. That would be the question. Which one would I want to be going after first? One of them we got to decide upon. I'm surprised he seems to be so liked. What is this? Tro your faith for the seven? What is going on with these people? A daughter was born. Oh, she's a bastard. Okay. Um, didn't I say you could marry who you want? That was my sister. That was my cousin, I said. This is my sister. Okay. We need to get you an alliance, okay? We, we need, like, an alliance, like a forester. Yeah, forester alliance. Lannister. Yeah, I think we need, we need to look for you now, because I've kind of been ignoring that. Uh, probably shouldn't have been. I haven't been ignoring it, but I just couldn't find one. But I think we need to decide on it now. Um, he's got all sisters, basically. He does have a son. We could arrange a betrothal there between them. I think she's a little bit too old. Yeah, she's going to be a little bit too old. Maybe it's one of the vassals of them. Oh, he controls that as well. Maybe to the Barrow family. Oh, he controls that. He controls quite a lot of land. No wonder he has so many men. How about the Farwind family? Maybe we could do some uh, annexation. Negotiate some annexation. His wife he's been married to. Okay. Um, he's sick. He's too young, really, isn't he? They're not going to accept this. They would. Huh. Okay, because he's an idiot, maybe. Yeah, the son's an idiot. He's like, I'm never going to be able to find a wife for my son. Uh, so we get with them, get an allegiance with them. That could be a good ally, actually, as well. That could be a good ally. 700 extra. Not too many men. He may not have many men, but, you know, it's still, you know, a way to bring together the Ironborn, I think. So I think we should definitely accept that. 
We could offer him an alliance. Yeah, we can do that. I think if I become king, we could probably offer him vassalization. And he'd probably be happy to do that. So we've got 700 men there. That That's something, I, I guess. Um, <laughs> something. These guys do seem to be independent, though. But War of Emancipation, okay, he's fine then. Yeah, so I'm not sure if he's actually helping or he's actually a vassal. But Lana support does seem to be independent, led by the Yu family. It does seem to be independent from the Trident. Um, Dosk? Okay, yeah, the Osgrey lands have been uh, pushed back by the Trident quite a bit. Um, over in the Stormlands, kind of looks the same as we saw last time. Um, there's been a little naval servant. Hmm. Well, well, I'm not a nice guy, yeah. I am nothing. I owe him nothing. N O T stuff. Uh, treasure was done stuff. Done that. Okay, yeah, I just need the money. So should I go reaving and uh, try and get some more money? But if I do that, I could get some more people to come against me before I go to war. And if I declare war in the kingdom, they definitely will come to attack. That's the thing I'm thinking here. She likes martial and intrigue, so I feel like struggle is best for her. I think maybe we should just go and attack. Because I've got like 3,000 men of my own. Yeah, well, four thousand. I've got like four thousand men of my own, plus about three. But we have seven thousand men. I think we could defeat them. Though he does have a hundred, hundred gold. That'd be the thing. Swear fealty, swear fealty to the little boy. If he dies, it goes to Eric. Good job. I don't know why he has so many men though. That's my only thing here. Why does he have so many men for like an eleven-year-old who believes in faith of the seven? It can only be because he holds like three titles, and this guy's a faith. I guess it does make sense. Investigating rumors of a plot, but I, I think maybe we should try and take him on with less men. I think we might be able to do it. But it could be a risk, and I could just go get some more money, but I could get in trouble for that. But when I get some money for this kid, that'd be kind of nice. If I get some money for that kid, that'd be better. You know what? I'm going to do it. I think I'm going to do it. I think I want the challenge of it. We're going to take what's rightfully mine. I'm going to do it properly. Um, the Ironborn of old forged a great kingdom through right of Congress. We shall pay the iron price and make glory anew. All women kidnapped, slaves captured, and swords stolen by the subject of king. Okay. Uh, all lands held in the name of Lord Tor, which are legally part of King's Newt Realm, are returned. That's if we lose. Um, I take all occupied lands. Becomes the new king of Pike. Yeah. Let's do it. Here we go. We will claim these lands. So I'm going to go and attack. Um, he's a fight in that. What is this? Shatterstone army. Huh. So they give him like 2,000 men. Wow. Two fa minus 2,000 gold? What is that? But yes. Okay. So we're going to attack him. He is a faith of the seven worship. He's a young boy. This is the time for Tord to go. Before he hits 30, he can make form, unite the people of the Ironborn completely. The first time it's ever been done since the realm was shattered. And then we can go and look further beyond. Marla Bay seems to be independent. Okay. Then we'll look beyond and carve our own glory. We can actually probably do quite a lot with this guy because he's pretty young. Unless something unnecessary happens, we could probably do quite a bit with him. Let's raise our men. We'll also raise some mercenaries, the most that we can get. Um, I probably could get... I probably could get um, a loan or something. I should do it right now. 50 gold, that's it. We'll ask a vassal. We'll ask him for a loan. Okay, maybe I don't need the loan from the Iron Bank right now. But fine, whatever. We'll hire these guys because we haven't really got any that we can get. We'll get the Ironborn Raiders first. Oh, uh, they've, they've lost a few. Eh, maybe not then. There's only one and he hasn't got that many men left. Okay, we'll just go with normal ones then. Go with that. And go with that. That'll be perfect. Bring the men together here. These guys are going to be slight trouble. And with the commanders that we need. Bring in the allies. Bring in the lonely light. Bring in lonely light. The far winds will come to our aid. Because they know a true ironborn should be a king. Not these... Fake, fake ironborns. 
thrown over here from their green lands. He was raised there. I'm afraid I cannot do it. That's fine then. Okay, there we go. We are, um, we are, we in the independent faction of Pike have decided it would be more prudent to join in your war against King Newt Drum rather than seek independence. Hence, we will swear fealty to you henceforth. There we go. See, I knew the true Ironborn people would see the way. There you go. So, who is that? These guys, I'm guessing. Yeah. Okay, so these guys have joined now. Lord Dagon, Farwind. There we go. Another Farwind. See, I told you, the Farwinds, they're one... That's why we should marry them. They're true Ironborn. What about you? Nope, you stayed underneath them. <sighs> of course, there's other... He's a maester. What? How did the maester get this? How... Actually, how did you get this? Granted it. Can you grant a maester land? Let me check. Maybe I just never tried, but I feel like you couldn't. Uh, maester. I can't even click it. Yeah, they can't... Okay, I don't know how he got it, but we'll take that back then. So I need to take this at least. Um, and all his land there. That's what we need to aim for. These ones here. We'll leave the little uh, bunny family <laughs> in charge. I'm fine with that. 6,000 men together. Of course, I will lead the line. Then we'll take Quentin Saltcliffe. Saltcliffe pushed out of their lands from down here, I'm guessing. I think that's the Saltcliffs. The Saltcliffs, I think... No, they control Saltcliffe. That, they were pushed out there by the drums, actually. Anyway, it still works. We've got a Hooten here. I'll take my sister. Now I'll take Mr. Hooten. He's a pretty good fighter. He's slightly better than she is. There we go. Now, I would like to bring them to attack this. Before they get their men together. So let's go do that so I can get these guys as well. That's kind of my plan. Let him rot. We can kill these men. We can have a good advantage. And we can bring these guys in as well. You see the Farwind army. Um, the other Farwind army. Look at that. They've taken them down here. Good job, Farwinds. See, that's so useful. They're going to the capital. They've got 7,000 men there. Almost 8,000. We just defeated a big army there. We'll head in then. Take... Pebbleton. If we can unite the Ironborn before we hit 30, that'd be a really good position from joining the factions. I'm really happy. I see. I, this is why I love this game. The mod is so well done. The fact that these guys in their independence faction thought, you know what? We don't even want independence. We just don't want to be underneath a, a faith for the seven. It makes sense to join a true Ironborn zealous man who's proven himself even at the young age of 28. It just shows how well it's done. So I'm very happy with that. They put themselves on the boats. So, I'm going to say they're going to come here. So, we should actually go this way. Because it will be a plane. He's not in a faction, so we'll do nothing for now. We could probably go meet him over here. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. See? But they'll be low on morale. The castle's impregnable. Yes. My heir is not there anyway. I'm not there. My salt wives are there. They can take... Don't take my salt wives! If they have low morale, we can win. Which I think we'll just have. They'll have, they'll have low morale. Yes. I think we can do it. Go, my generals! We have good generals. New Lord Commander, Lucan Otwell. There we go. I think we can do it. Who are we facing? We've got two people we're facing against. There's no one on this side. This should be ours to win. There we go. It's broken. They're broken completely. There we go. Went just as I planned. Their commander was Hagen, who we've captured. Oh, fun because we're just an enemy soldier. Toke Spa. That's right, coward. Run back to Hammerhorn. He would have been a difficult one. He's a skilled fighter, but, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's Torwald. You don't want to face Mr. Torwald and my sword, Heartsbane. Heartsbane sent him running. He saw the sword. He saw our magnificent sword. I'm going to say he's probably going to go this way. But I don't know. He's going to go in this way. Okay, we'll chase after him then. Let him rot. They're going to Pike. They get there, and then they're going to go to Lord's Port. We'll chase after them. Because they've got low, man, low men right now. We need to take them down when they have low morale. Let's do it. Good job. We captured Toke this time. He didn't get away this time. 
that craven. We'll chase him down once again, let him rot. The far winds are just running around. I think they're trying to catch up to us. Um, I'm not completely sure. They're going back to the capital. There we go. Flying across the field, we see Master Benarium of Nagas Hill. He's a formidable fighter, but he has a bit of dysentery. He's a bit sick. So he doesn't want to fight. He's old as well. But even he's scared of Torwald. Run back to Oldwick. Look at that. Oh, you're serving from your men, and we meet Denny's. Would you like capture Denny's? Oh, was it Hagen? Yeah, it was Hagen, wasn't it? So we met a drowned man. I'm sorry, drowned man. I'm a zealous man. But if you're going to fight me, I'm going to fight your back. Prepare to die, scum. You, you, you call yourself a drowned man, and you support this, this faith for the seven boy. Obviously, they think that, you know, um, the inheritance is more important than the faith. They put that ahead. He married it. Look, he married, he married a Belmore. A Belmore of the Bell Mountains. This, dis this is disgusting. One mistake is I use a speed or force or defensive stance. Now, he's not very good at all. So I think we should just go with force. Your experience in combat and the prowess of your weapon allows you to spawn open his defense. And we throw Heartsbane down upon him. He forcibly overwhelms his defense stance. And he can't hold back. His sword flies out of his hands and we slice him in half with Heart's Bane. And he dies. Valamogulus. This guy, can't, Torwald, can't be stopped, you know? I'm actually really happy because you know, this is the sort of thing when you worry, oh god, if I die, we're screwed. You know? And we don't seem to ever have that happen. We always seem to survive every combat. Because obviously, even though my guy is usually the better one, it still doesn't mean you'll always win. And Mr. Kennedy Saltcliffe has ran away. Another Saltcliffe. The opponent Saltcliffe. We captured this man. I'm running out of money actually right now. Should probably go take this. Then Rot. Probably would like some money. 25, 25, and 10. Well, how good are you? 10? And you're a 16. We should probably, yeah, sell this guy. Right, give me 25 gold for now. Let me uh, keep using my army. Three days. Assault taken. We'll take that. We'll give it back to the salt. The salt cliff that supported me. We will give him back salt cliff. See? Things will work out as they should be. And those who are loyal will get what they deserve. A son was born to my sister. A bastard boy. She's betrothed to the far wind, but she had a bastard boy with... Uh, Lauren. Yeah. That's the same as the first boy. Is that the same man? I mean, it's the same as the daughter, so I feel like it probably is. I feel like the first boy is probably his as well, because two of them are his. Out of three. So, it's probably his as well. Okay, we've taken them down enough now where their men are basically destroyed. I'll spend highly to get Ulfara the best equipment. My daughter... We'll spend good because at the moment I just don't have that much money because we're at the war right now. I want to capture this. I want to capture that. So we'll go take this down. He's, he's lost enough men now where I think we can't lose. So I'm, I'm fine basically leaving him as it is. But we do need a maester. Okay, send for a new maester. Click off of this. Um, send for a new maester. Go on a reaven. We're a bit busy right now. My daughter, she loves money. My daughter loves me. All the money I'm going to make for her, you know, by the time, you know, we, like, we spend a lot of money now, but it will come back, you know. A beautiful new a gardener crown. Oh, did my... <gasps> oh, the old lady died, and we took the crown. Ah, oh, that's lovely. Excellent. Hmm. One of them must be true is a feudal royal monarch. Spouse is a feudal royal monarch is pressing a claim on a kingdom. So, if once I become king, I should be able to wear... The Gardener Crown. Ah, oh, the Gardener Crown has made us a, a little journey, hasn't it? It's made us a little journey uh, across the lands. Searching far and wide. Yeah, she died. I forgot I was meant to be uh, seducing these women. Wasn't I? <laughs> I was meant to be seducing them. Um, she's 25, she's 26. Let's seduce her then. Seduce her, see what happens. Uh, we sent word. Let us hope he serves us well. Okay, Mr. Eric, he doesn't look very good, to be honest. But I have to do for now. Serve the court, please, my good sir. 
Show us what you can do. I'll have her wrapped around my little finger, even though her mother just died. Maybe I'm taking advantage of her, her emotionally weak state. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's what it will be. The drum fam- we do want to keep the drum family around, it's just that this boy can't be the head of the drum- Well, I mean, he can be, he just can't be king of all the Ironborn. That's really our problem right now. And we're running out of money, so we need to sell another one. Hagen? What's our Hagen? Ten gold. Give me that ten gold. I'll probably need to sell the other guy as well. But for now, we'll just go for him. And, yeah. That's going to give us a bit of gold, but we need a bit more. <gasps> Ram, my salt wife, was in bed with me, and she suddenly set upon me with a knife in hand. How did she get past the guards? Treacherous wench. I knew I shouldn't have gone. Oh, damn. This is the younger one. The younger girl, the younger sister decided to go attack me. I knew this would happen. To be honest, when we did that, I would never normally do that if I was playing. Um, but because I thought that's what he would do, I did it. He's a cruel man. But taking her is very dangerous, especially well a lot of these, especially because she's wroth as well. But in general, taking these types of salt wives can be dangerous. What is the chance? Thirty percent chance she gets wounded. Twenty percent chance she cha she dies. Seventy five percent chance I'm unscathed. Okay, please game, please. She's wounded, and we're okay. Oh god. Okay. Okay, the, that fish is a little bit rowdy. She's been put in jail. Um, I guess we should kill her. Yeah, he wouldn't be able to stand for that, would he? Selling the slavery is not illegal. Is not no it says is not legal. Is that what it said? I can't remember. Uh, obligations. There's no actual law on it. Maybe in the whole place though is um, and selling the slavery. Yeah, is not legal. Okay, so we can't do that. Um, do I want to torture her? I think I just want to execute her. Yeah. we got to prove to her sister. Then again, her sister will hate me. Her sister hates me as much. But her sister isn't as wroth as she is. And she's lustful, so maybe she just give in. She's a craven. She'll do what we say. That's how it will work. Yeah. Execute her. Sacrifice of the drowned gods, of course. What is dead may never die. Oh. Um, yeah. Popped up as well. So there we go. We dealt with her. That that was close. My justice suggests there would be a benefit to the realm if I studied the language of foreign courts. If they can't speak it, why should I speak to them? Yeah. I think we need to let him go. I can capture him again. It's fine. But they're going to take that back. They're at 40%. Come on, come on. Take this. We've only got 33 gold left. We don't have that much money. Has fallen to our band of reavers. Perhaps I should claim a salt wife. No, we will not. I I've had enough of salt wives. We won't be able to get them, but I will be able to get down here and take this. And they'll go there. And we could probably get around there and take them down as well. But let's go back and take this. There we go. 52%. I could go to the capital, which is divided by 3,000 men. 2,900. Okay. Well, we'll leave that till next time, so the war for the Ironborn will continue. Will we get the Kingdom of Pike and use it, maybe rename it to the Kingdom of the Ironborn? I don't know what we'll call our kingdom, but I feel like Pike does not work. Because number one, we don't have the Lordship of Pike, so it seems a bit weird. Obviously, we will get that after, but it does seem a bit weird to do it then. But also as well, you know, Pike to name the whole place then, because we'll have the whole place then. That doesn't seem right. Tell me in the comment section below, guys. What would you call this kingdom? The kingdom of the Reaper? The kingdom of the Harlows? Um, the kingdom of the Ironborn? The Drowned Kingdom? Um, the Iron Isles? We just call the Iron Isles, maybe? I mean, that is you know, basically what it is. But I'd love to know what you guys think down below. I'll see you guys next time. Bye for now.